Um, let me get this thing rolling here. We are rolling, all right. We are with the uh, Manchester Essex football captain. So start over here with Robbie. Robbie, great year. What's it mean now, your senior year, to be a captain and have the year you've had with these guys? It means everything. Um, coming out here every day and working hard with them. Wouldn't want anything else. Um, this Thanksgiving is huge for us. It gives us a chance to uh, reach all our, our goals and you know it's our last game so got to give it a hundred percent out there. Jackson, uh, this, this guy is, is a running back. You guys are all, look at these guys, all right? You guys are all linemen. So tell me a little bit about the pride of being a lineman and being a captain as a senior this year. Yeah, it definitely means a lot. We kind of take the responsibility of getting Rob as many yards as possible. Kind of feel like it's our job to open up holes for him and we feel like we've gotten our job done so we take a lot of pride in that. And then to be a captain, we feel like we're leaders in the center of the offense, and we feel like it's up to us to kind of get the job done week in and week out. Charlie, uh, what, what's your job been this year with the younger kids? You remember what it's like four years ago and how far down the road it looked, right? Yeah. And, and here it is, man, right? Okay, so so have you helped out the younger guys? I mean, you guys, you got to be a close unit because you don't have a lot of numbers. Yeah, especially having the low numbers that we have, we got to accept everybody who wants to come, especially young guys. We want them to go through the system like we did and okay just works out that way all right and andrew again robbie gets all the ink but what's it like for you uh working with these other guys what's it been like this year as, as a captain uh, i think it's been really fun honestly like teaching these young kids kind of how to come up through the program you know we kind of did it ourselves when we were younger i know i was had the opportunity to play as a freshman and kind of we got a lot of young freshmen too that are getting the chance to play so kind of teaching them how it goes here and kind of just the work ethic they need and kind of bringing them up through has been pretty fun. You guys have only had really uh, maybe maybe two bad games, I would say, score-wise. But uh, going into uh, the Georgetown game now, you got a chance to go over 500. And maybe I could ask each, each of you guys a, a highlight, either a personal highlight or a team highlight for the year. Rob, has there been one for you in particular? Um, I'd say the Amesbury game was a huge highlight for our team in general. Uh, they've kept us out of the playoffs the past two years and beating them gave us a spot in the playoffs for the first time in about four or five years so okay. I'd say that was the highlight. Cool. Jackson? Our first game of the year was Northeast and they have always played us tough and even though we ended up blowing them out this year it was our fourth year in a row beating them so it kind of felt like that was like an accomplishment that as seniors some fr since freshman year to senior year that's a team we've been able to get our jobs done against. Feel good to have a perfect record? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. Charlie highlight? I think after the loss that we had in the first round in the playoffs, I think we bounced back pretty well and took care of business. It was tough playing the number one seed, but we bounced back and now we have a chance to go over 500. Yeah, and I, I would think some of the competition, you guys are up against schools, uh, Andrew, that uh, are, are bigger than you, so uh, it might necessarily not have been a win that's a highlight because you played some really tough you know bigger schools but how about for you yeah i think one thing to feel like speaking of not even getting a win but against linfield you know i think we really showed that you know we're going to play tough every game and we're going to come out and fight and you know i think the first half we gave them all they could take and you know i think that's as much as we could have done that game and i think the numbers did catch up to us in the end but i think that was a really positive thing we could have taken and then uh I think the whole Nantucket trip that we got to take as a team was really fun for us. Really good team bond and things. So yeah, coach did that mention that. Big thing for All right, us. Final question, guys. Thanksgiving, um, your final Thanksgiving game. What's what's the final thought for you guys going to this one, Rob? It's a must-win game. It means everything. It's just like a. It's a. It's a I don't even know. It's the past four years. It's what we've worked for. Our final game as seniors. It's really yep. everything. Last time you put the pads on. What's yeah. it mean? The turkey didn't taste great last year. Hoping, <laughs> hoping it could be a little different this year. Does taste better with a win? Yeah, we definitely, we really want to beat these guys. It's really a true rivalry. We all hate them. They all hate us. So it'll really be like, last year our football game could be a true grudge match. Take it to them. They'll take it to us. We'll see what happens. And you say hopefully that respect. With a win. And you say that respectfully. I get that. <laughs> Charlie, what's it mean? It means everything. Like, we lose this game where we don't have the chance to be 500 in Thanksgiving. They've beat us twice. We beat them once. So we got to go on 500 at least. Andrew, last word. Uh, I think it's just really for us, it's pride, you know, coming up freshman year, we had a tough season coming up. Uh, and every year it seems like we've improved as a team and as a program. So I think just finishing off and ending this with a win and kind of sending them off in the right way. Congratulations, man, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.